Hey there friends, I am the PC Goblin. And in this video I want to do something a little bit different from computers and routers and all that fun stuff. I want to take a look at a Bluetooth uh, speaker light bulb. So here it is. I got this off of Amazon and I've seen it if like every hardware store that I go where they have like light bulbs that you know have speakers in it. I've always been curious about how good these are because I'm a bit of an audiophile myself and I mean with everything else that's inside of a light bulb and this specific one has multiple colors. Very limited on space for a speaker plus vibrations and light bulbs generally don't necessarily mix. So I've always been curious about how good these are. So I found this on Amazon, got it for 15 bucks. You can check the description below for a link and if you purchase one Please use the link, it helps my channel out a little bit, it doesn't cost you anything extra. But anyways, this bulb says it's an LED music bulb. Its product parameters are 100 to 200, ah, 240 volt slash 50 dash 60 hertz, power 12 watts, LED power 7 watts, RGB power 7 watts, speaker power 3 watts, so very minimal. Frequency response 135 hertz to 15 kilohertz. Wireless version 3.0. I assume that's Bluetooth. I doubt it's Wi Fi. Support configuration A2DP, meaning it can stream Bluetooth music. Uh, radio range is 10 feet, so I'm going to test that out a little bit to see if that's true or not. And then the LED light color is white or warm white. But I'm supposed to be able to change it. And then the front of it. It says LED light, play music, it shows a picture of a remote control, shows an app for on, for the iPhone, and then it's got a picture of a battery that says emergency. So I'm not sure what that means, but let's go ahead and open it and check it out. It stinks a little bit. So here's the controller. Nothing else in there. That was just a little disc, like a little um, cardboard disc. Steps to use this bulb. Applied this bulb to the E27 B22 base and then power the bulb. The bulb is lit up, then you can use the remote control to adjust the light color. <laughs> Turn on your Bluetooth device, your phone, etc. Search and connect to the bulb. Connected successfully, now you can play the music you like with the bulb. <laughs> Please confirm the voltage first. Please check specs of the product carefully before or before ordering to ensure proper fit. I'd say it's a little late to do that since I've already ordered it and have it in my hands. Do not disassemble any bulbs by yourself. Oh, okay. Be sure to cut the power off before beginning installation to avoid personal injury. The bulb can be turned off by remote control and you can still use it as a speaker. Oh, that's cool. One remote controller can control multi bulbs, the light, but one bulb can only be connected to one Bluetooth device for sound. Sorry, it says one Bluetooth device and then output sound. Application suitable for bedroom, closet, cabinet, corridor, workshop, basement, garage, stairwell, oil depots. <laughs> oil depots? What? Roof, door, and other places. Package includes one 12 watt Bluetooth speaker bulb, one user manual, one remote con uh, one remote controller, battery is included. Please don't install the bulbs in human environment. I'm guessing it means bathrooms. Like above showers or bathtubs or whatever. All right, so doesn't seem very high quality, but let's go ahead and get it installed and see what it looks like. All right, here we go. Taking one bulb out. So it beeps at you when it first turns on. All right, so testing out the different buttons. You got flash. You've got strobe. Fade. Fade's my favorite. And then you have smooth. So on my phone, it shows as HLBT003. Hmm? 
Okay, so the volume up, volume down buttons are kind of useless. They only seem to be track forward or track back. Sound quality is really not too bad. I'm going to stop it and play some music that actually has voices in it. I don't have any voices that are like restriction free and I don't want to go into like copyright whatever with anybody. So I'm going to stop it right now. Okay, so now I'm going to test out the distance to see how far I can go. I don't have a way to show like the light bulb and how far I am, but the camera, so where you're looking at me from, like you, not me, um, that's exactly where the light bulb is. It's not as high as the light bulb, but it's right even with the light bulb. So I'm going to step away. This is probably a little over 10 feet, so let's see what that does. Okay, you can still control it. Still controlling it just fine. Still controlling it. So with Bluetooth, controlling it with your phone, there's no difference with that whatsoever. So I'm gonna try the controller. Maybe that's what's 10 feet. All right, so roughly 10 feet away now. Okay, that still works. I promise you I didn't touch it with my phone. Still works. Okay, it doesn't work. So I'd say you've got about 15, 20 feet of distance that you can go away from the light bulb with this and still have it work. So that's actually pretty good. That's great that you can be more than 10 feet away. That's, that's nice. Plus, I'm not average, or I'm not doing the distance from like up and down, just like physically how far back I am. So it's probably a little further, but that's still good. It's not bad. So I've given it quite a bit of thought with this light bulb. I've listened to it with several songs. I've had it just hanging above me while I'm playing on the computer and whatnot. And the speaker itself is not very good. It sounds very tinny. It's missing so much bass. It's it's not even funny. But it is really cool having it hanging above your head while you listen to it and while you're doing other things. So with my thoughts on this are you're not going to replace your regular light bulbs with this. If you have a lamp or something that you want to be listening to music with by your computer or you know, I don't know, wherever in your house, this could be a very viable option for that as it does sound okay. It sounds better than your speaker coming out of your phone. It's louder than that. Plus it's got all the cool RGB lights and stuff that can flash and go along with the music and make it entertaining. So I can see it in a use case scenario with that. Maybe in your garage is a, once again as a secondary light source because this really isn't bright. Or if you've got a rave in your basement, maybe then, but then I hope you've got much better speakers than this. You're just using it for the LED or the RGB portion of it. So. It's a fun light bulb. Can't recommend it for replacing any standard light bulbs as it's not gonna be good for that. But I hope you found this video fun. I certainly had a lot of fun making it. If you wanna see more of my stuff, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next time, guys.